Hello everyone, Rissy Toothpick here, back again with some more Dreadlands, and last time we got our first major mission here to go defeat the gang, and uh, hopefully they're not too high level, or we get, you know, demolished. Oh yeah, level one, we'll take care of them. Adder Leech Stones, a cabin frequently used by Franklin Hills Glow Hunters. The first come, first served rule is regularly thrumped trumped by survival of the fiercest when deciding who will get to spend the night under the cabin's leaky roof and a bonus drop of credits hopefully we don't die i think some of our guys might be hurt here due to us uh dying gangs run the risk of encountering rivals as they explore the dreadlands ruins two rival gangs meet while traveling through ruined buildings both gang leaders are looking for trouble. Neither is prepared to turn his back and let his opponent get away without a fight. Defeat the other gang or make them flee. Ah, more of ye Loun Loutons? Shrubbery huggers hankering for a scalping again so soon? You're dealing with a different tribe this time, scrap fondlers. Your presence here is sacrilege. You'll be the only ones doing dying here, ye pish-faced clam hammers for the crew. Man, they got some weird, weird fighting words. All right, and I guess we can't really put no one there because we don't have no elite fighters there. So let's just kind of go. Huh. Places all mother marks on targets, increasing the range hit chance. Uh, Eh, get rid of that one. Oh, that one probably be pretty good. If we accidentally do shoot twice, we can actually use auto repairs too. Leg traps are good. Next range attack will jam. I guess that's that's the enemy. Let's look at the enemies here. Looks like that's the credits. Two guys there. It's just two of them. Nope. There's a third one. Chilling. That's not bad. And our guys, way down here. Oh, so let's kind of move him here. I'm thinking we try to draw them towards us, maybe? But, I mean, that is half cover. We don't want them to shoot that, because that's an explosion. So let's kind of put our guys on the edge here so they can move. Wow, you got a terrible starting point. Oh, actually. Let's let me move here. Okay, I think that's everyone. We're gonna move first. We're gonna take the good cover here. Yeah, it's monsters. Let's take that. And my fear is that they're going to move one way or the other. So let's put a guy over here. Let us put the bear right here. And just in case they try to come this way, we can get a melee killer in there. And the dog. Let's get the dog over here. And no energy. So let's end our turn. Let's see what they're going to do. Okay, guys, they're just taking it slow, being cautious. Okay, we do have a leg traps. How far? Pretty close here. So let us um, let's put one there. There. And I think hopefully this guy will run in there and possibly hit it. Same thing over here. We have a 30% chance of hitting. So we're just going to do an aim. And overwatch and we're gonna go this guy aim overwatch just aim with this guy and overwatch and let's end our turn I don't think there's nothing we can do with the dogs yeah
he, he avoided the leg trap, unfortunately. Wow, 20% chance of getting that shot. Kind of feel like I should move my dog back then, just kind of get him out of the side. And let's kind of take it slow here. I mean, we can be a little aggressive here. We'll be aggressive with the animals, specifically the bear. I feel like the bear can cause some damage. The dog, we've already moved him. We'll let us aim and overwatch. Aim, overwatch, and then hopefully we don't have to be aggressive here. Yeah, looks like we're going to be actually pretty fine here because the bear should get a good shot. Wow, 40% chance he was in full cover and you pretty much got him. It's a little bit unfortunate. Okay, he's jammed, so he's he has to rush us. Yeah, jam your gun too. Take the bear, get an attack in, 75% chance. He missed twice, which is unfortunate, but he can take it. Let us move, um, worried about that barrel, but can we heal him actually? No, I think it has to be this guy. Yep, and it looks like we can hit him. He has some so let's kind of get him in the middle here. Feel like he'll be safe there. Let's bring this guy forward. Can we get a shot off? No, we can't. They're out of sight, out of mind. Let's take the dog. Let's put the dog right here. I don't think, I think that guy's in uh, Mali anyway, so he can't really do anything. And then our guy, he's out of action. We're gonna leave him there. And I think we're fine for now. This is where I'm worried. 50%, not bad. Oh yeah, get that leg trap. Surprised that worked out. Okay, a little bit too. He's got a bleed. He's on fire, apparently. But he missed and he's practically almost dead, which is great. 35 chance isn't bad but i guess he's there's there's some sharpshooter shooters this time like god damn yeah and he's gonna get out next turn bear 50 percent chance oh 75 kill him there we go yeah execute him eat him for lunch uh stay right there He's got no more energy. The dog is down. I'll say I don't think we can really save him. He has a shot though, 60% chance. Let's try to kill this guy. Well, let's actually, let's aim. 80% chance. Come on, say if they can hit us on a 40 and a 30, we can get him on that. Okay, we just can't get him there, huh? Let's move here. Let's be kind of dangerous here. 70% flank, get that shot in. Okay, he's pinned. The dog is down, but I think as long as the dog doesn't get attacked, I think he'll be okay, but he is bleeding, so let us use the heal totem on him. Let's keep him alive. I feel like that will help him out. It's in our turn. We just don't want the dog to get like medium wounds or something I'll say that guy's pretty much dead I don't know what this guy's gonna do wow he actually didn't move okay that's crazy yeah let's uh let's be aggressive here 90% flank finish him with that pistol there we go so everything should be done here. After a long and hard battle, Porcupine Hounds drives off Graham's Growlers and is victorious. 
explore the area. We'll take our lead guy here. We'll pick up all this shiny. What do we get? Wow. Medical supplies. Bandages. I think we might be able to put bandages on our characters. Because I feel like as long as we have bandages, I think we'll be okay. And scrap metal. Use scrap metal to fix weapon jams and damage armor at your hideout workshop. You can also trade in settlement for reputation. Not enough room in your inventory. Okay, well, let me see here. Let me hit tab. Question is, is like, where is our inventory, you know? Oh wow, we get a far range here. Go with options, uh, controls. Uh, apparently, I do not know. Okay, I'm gonna have to look that one up. But that's fine, you know, early, early game here. But uh, I guess we'll just, I'm gonna try one other person. Maybe it's like a one person's inventory full type thing, but I doubt it, but we'll try this out. It is, okay, so our head honcho guy's got his inventory full, but everyone else can still carry. So let's end our mission. Okay, MVP levels up. Let us give him the MVP. I was like, I really want to just kind of like level somebody up, really. That's like my goal. I probably should look into the leveling up system too because it's kind of just there all right let me look here 33 dollars is not terrible i mean what is that our fame yeah i don't know Okay, let's look at our game though. Can we look at his inventory? Yes, we can. So, various medical items used to provide more effective treatment. A battle will use it at your hideout medical center to treat injuries and craft healing items. So, it looks like we can't really use this stuff unless we. I mean, the bandages we can. I guess we can put things in our. He has a better rating with it. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna say I think we'll be okay for now. Let us go back to uh, Dryad's Rest and uh, turn in this mission. Turn in scrap metal for additional reputation. I don't think you know we're gonna kind of take it easy with the scrap metal because it's you know it's better use is to repair our weapons. So we can just kill you know low level guys here. Moontooth. Greetings. I sense the Edderleach stones have been cleansed good and proper. You have my gratitude. Mm. And you passed the test. Mm -hmm. You are my new sentinels. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. Us envoy sentinels? Yes, for now. Till we doubt we lose. Wow. It's a tremendous honor, blessed envoy. Mm. And, re and responsibility. So no dallying, please. Mm -hmm. We'd like to start off by offering you an invitation to our base. Our tribe would be honored to have you. Mm -hmm. Fine, lead the way. All right, so now Moontooth is probably gonna be part of our thing, I'm, I assume. Let's uh, head out. And then when we get back to our village, we can actually kind of check up on this scrap metal medical supplies, see what we can do. I'm assuming we can change the medical supplies to bandages, but you know, there's no telling. And that's way too difficult for us. Level 15 distillery, like that would smash us. What is that? We cleared out that area, I remember. We fought beast or whatever. Guess we're gonna go the other way. Level three is not terrible. You probably get smashed though. Your hideout. 
Firing a ranged weapon more than once per turn has a chance to cause the weapon to jam, which is terrible. Okay, so it looks like we had some items here. Let's talk to Leaf Hound. Mm -hmm. Well, splendid fellow tribesmen, an arch druid envoy has decided to grace us with a visit. And not only that, but she has recruited us as envoy sentinels. Such honor. Hmm? We kind of figured you'd be pleased, Leaf Hound. Of course I am. All for tribe, kin, soil, and sun. Hmm. Of course. This must be worth some of your special stash, right? Oh, give me that stash. Yes, yes. My summer shrooms will not disappoint you. We're gonna go on a great trip. Now go talk to the envoy. I believe she is in urgent need of your capable set of pawns again. Your Druid Leafhound has asked you to find an Arch Druid envoy. Oh, this is, we've completed this one, so. 53, not bad. Let us check out the medical center. I don't know if Chomp and them are still injured. They are four, Jesus. Light wounds are traded with medical supplies, glow stems, or by not using the unit for two battles. See, and we gotta use the, the guys here, so. And I guess we can put them on the sick bed, maybe? I don't know, but let's just kind of clear them out. So they don't have those negatives. We got our stash. Which it looks like everyone's been relieved of their items. Let's look at the workshop. Okay, and I think we're fine there. Look at our gorgeous giant chicken and uh man, what are they called? Oh my god. I don't know. I'm gonna. Uh, oh wow! There's actually a merchant here too. See, I feel like we should have more bandages on guys here. How's our money? Fifty-three. I'm gonna see if we can buy someone though. If we can, you know, pay for someone, I think that'd be better. That's tactics. Let me check that out. All this stuff is new, so I kind of want to get a little look at it. Also, this pretty much tells us all the cards we have for our guys here. Before we talk to Moontooth, let's look for a pigeon. Yes, you are a pigeon, a giant pigeon. So it's about 75 for a uh, weak guy that we can put on the bottom. Okay, good to know, but we're really gonna want a guy like this. Or like another boss-like guy with the, uh, yeah, pretty good. Actually, this guy is not bad for ranged. That's kind of what we want. But yeah, let's talk to Moon Tooth. We need to save up some money before we do anything crazy. Ah, oh, there you are, Sentinels. We have work to do. Hmm. Yes, so we heard. Um. I'll be combing through the neighboring tribes for neophytes, new recruits, and you will accompany me. Hmm. Which tribes do you have in mind? Hmm. We'll be visiting Weldborn, Thornskin, and Highhawk. Mm -hmm. Wait, you do know. You are tribekin, you fight them, it's what we do. Hmm. But this time you're envoy sentinels, and things will be different. All right, so we got local tour. Arch Druid Envoy Moontooth has tasked you with accompanying her as she visits neighboring tribe kin bases. She is interested in talking to newly arrived neophytes, people who are not born Ardenkin but has joined their ranks for whatever reason. Visit the Weldborn, Thornskin, and Highhawk tribes, and we're gonna get some glow stem. I think that can heal in thirty dollars, so I guess we'll take it. And let us leave. Possibly. Or just hit world map, I guess. Oh, okay. So first one we're gonna go to is the Weldborn tribe, it looks like. 
I guess we can kind of explore a little bit more of the map here. Oh, Trader's Camp. You know what? Hold up. Let's check this out. There might be something of value. I must say, I doubt that it's going to be any combat. Let's talk to, what is his name? Buzz something? Buzz Marcon. He has a spiked back, spit pistol, damage three, crit two. So, oh, that's a good gun. Thrasher. But it's, it's a close up range weapon. Nothing really that we want. Let's go back on the world map. Alrighty. Let's kind of go up on these hills here. Find Fangbright. A bunch of rats. Level 2, you know what? I think we can... I mean, level 2 is kind of... We're not even level 2. I think that orange symbolizes that we might get... I mean, we'll survive, but we might lose a, a person or two, and we don't really want to turn in medical supplies for additional reputation. At the fording of Yellow Jacket Creek, the settlement of Flannery's Ford was founded not long after the cleansing. Flannery's Ford has proven throughout the years to be a resilient community that can roll with the punches and deliver a counter right hook when needed. The folks of Flannery's Ford do a bit of agriculture, a bit of fishing, and lots of trading. That's not bad. Alrighty, everyone should probably be chill. Looks like a regular merchant, a healing merchant. The mission that we need to do and just some people standing around. And this looks like this might be a uh, place for a base later on. Let us see what type of weapons they have. I say we probably can't afford it, but nice to look. Four one three two less crit, but better basic damage, which is pretty good. I say I might need to research on you know what the best uses our money on. They have antidotes, bandages, but you know same price as we would at our own place here. And then let's go see what's going on in the Wellborn tribe. Hello. Welcome to Flannery's Ford. You're looking for work? Yeah. Suppose we are. Then how did you know? Okay. Let's just say you're not the first, and there's nothing wrong with my eyes. Now there is a little you need to know, except that you are to deliver this suitcase to a woman waiting in a factory nearby. Uh. Try to tamper with it and you'll be sorry. Those of you who survived that won't ever find work here again. So please, let's get going. The woman wears a junction uniform. Give it to her and her only. Emma Gray Primer of Flannery's Ford has sent you to deliver a suitcase. You're supposed to give it to a woman in a factory nearby wearing a junction uniform. Get a better uh, reputation, some ammo, and a little bit of cash on the side. But apparently that... There's more that we need to do here. Okay, what is this? Hold on. There's some more here. I want to say, I guess that is not the mission that we should be uh, looking into. With three credits is not bad. Let's talk to this guy. Hand in medical supplies to gain reputation. Higher reputation unlocks access to better gear at the trader. Ah, oh, I see. Well, we only got one, so... I mean, it's not really going to do anything for us, so we'll just wait on that. Okay, so we got the main contract and location of your secondary contract. So I guess this wasn't where we needed to go. I just kind of got too close, so I was like, oh, that must be it. But now I guess we gotta get up here, so I guess I'm gonna be walking around here. But it looks like they're right next to each other. Level one, the drop-off, let's kinda clear that out and then we'll go 
Emma Gray's primer of Flannery's board has sent you to deliver a suitcase. You're supposed to give it to a woman. But I guess, you know, things do not go as planned. But these level one guys, we should be able to take them out, no problem. Gangs run the risk of encountering. Yep, we've done this one before. Junkhead Rompers. That's our team. Uh, we'll get rid of that one. We're not going to jam up our weapons. We'll keep that one just in case we can probably use it on the bear to get another attack in. That's not bad. Alright, let's see what's going on though. So they got a bear. Okay, we can get a range attack in. Got a lot of enemies this time. Okay, this is a lot more than I was expecting. Let us get our sharpshooters. I mean, I don't know if we can. They will be a little bit at risk of getting, you know, attacked here. But hopefully it's not terrible. Let's get the bear, put him there, the dog. Oh, my bad there. Let's get the dog over here. Let's ready up. These guys can attack, and I don't think they're going to kill her. So what we can do... I'm just worried about these guys getting hit. I'm hoping that they can get a, you know, attack in before they can. I'll say, I don't know. Let's just be super aggressive here. With the bear. Dog, we will put... I mean, we gotta be aggressive with the dog, but let's put him there. These guys over here, we're just gonna have them aim. Might as well overwatch as well. Aim. Looks like he can't overwatch for some strange reason. Oh, cause he doesn't have ammo. Let's use that then. How's his ammo then? Yeah, we might have some problems here. Okay, let's see. I'm hoping they're going to be aggressive. They use a tactic to do more damage. Looks like they're going to go there. That's fine. Let's use the fire totem then. Activate the fire tunnel on the ground, which will explode at the end of your next turn. Let's do that. And we'll wait on that one. Okay. This guy, we're going to want him to... They're going to be aggressive, it looks like. So let's kind of put the bear over here. We're going to want the bear to attack him. The dog, we're going to want to hide him a little bit. This guy, he's got some ammo still and a reload. So we're gonna aim with him and overwatch. He can't really do much anyways. And it looks like I might wanna move this guy forward a little bit and aim with him. This guy, we're just gonna, I guess, run him. Well, there is the bear. The bear is, it looks like it's coming that way. So let's have him go as far as he can out this way. Because the bear has to pretty much run into him. Let's end our turn. Hopefully they try to, yeah, stay there. Yeah, it looks like they might do that. Oh, the dog is running. It's going to be a dog-on-dog -dog fight. Did get some damage in. I guess it's going to explode now, and it's actually going to hit that guy, which is great. Can you hit anybody? Yes, you can. A 30% there. A 40% apparently at the bear way over here, but let us aim. 50% chance. You know what? Hit that guy. All right, we missed, which was unfortunate. Dog, attack. Attack him one more time. Hit him. Hit him. Come on now. Oh, you 
bastard. He's gonna kill him too. That's the sad part. So what we need to do is we can't hit him either way. So what we need to do is be aggressive here. Okay, well that was good. Follow up, get right into him. Oh, but that fire, right. Ooh, okay, hold on. Let me use adrenaline rush on him. Okay, and then we're gonna want him. Can't get him out of there. That's unfortunate. He's gonna take some damage, but at least we kill that guy. Our dog is in trouble though. Uh, get in there. Maybe we can. Malia locked here. Maybe we can get him to avoid attacking him. Let's get this guy over here for support. It's in our turn. There we go. It like took out a lot of them. We did hurt our bear. He's gonna revive one of his guys. Which is the guy right in front of us, which is fine. Hopefully he will uh, re-attack him when he misses us. Nope, he's gonna run away and revive guys. Okay. He's throwing a grenade. Wow, we're lucky our guy's still alive here. I'm gonna say don't. Oh, he's gonna finish off my bear. Nope, never mind. Our bear has survived. Of course, he's executing him, which was unfortunate. Mm. The dogs do not, cannot handle. Well, at least we, we're gonna kill his dog. 30% chance, let us aim. 50% is pretty good. Apparently we can't hit him though, but they can. They can tear us up at 50 apparently. There's nothing we can do there. He can get a 50 though. Or a melee, huh? Are you out? No, I'm gonna say. 50% chance there. Let's try to get a shot here. Come on, kill him. There we go. Bear. What do we got here? I'm gonna put a healing totem here. Put the bear. And then we're gonna go, let's do all Mother's Mark, why not? We can't use it on him because it has to be a guy who's attacking, I'm guessing. Oh no, we got it, okay, he's done. Out of sight, execute this bastard. Stay right there. We got that healing going, he's got no more moves. This guy, he's gonna run at someone here, so let us actually fall back with this guy let's try to draw the bear out this guy over here no actions let's enter turn this is rough but luckily we did heal the bear this guy's probably gonna bandage a guy nope the bear's coming over here oh wow he's going for the healing totem well, that's fine, because uh, I'll just kill you. Okay, we're going to want to fall back, too, after we kill this guy. Okay, um... Actually, I really don't want you to execute him if you don't have to. But you're stuck, aren't you? Okay, well, then kill him. Follow up. Yeah, get away. Okay, let me look here. He's got four, so let's move him here. And we're gonna overwatch him. No, 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 no. Over here. I was say, can we not? I must say, I'm trying to figure out how we can. I say, it's kind of pointless then, you know? Yeah, I guess we're just gonna have that guy here. Let us go here. We don't have a bandage with this guy, of course. Let me guess here. No. Bandage? Do you have a bandage? You do, but you cannot get to him. Oh, this bear's gonna wreck us here, but let's get this guy here. 
let us move this guy here. We're pretty much going to have a final battle here. Of course, their morale has broken, so they are weaker. This bear, though, he's going to tear us up. Yep, he's going in. He's down the bear. I think our dog is pretty much gone. Out of actions, yep. Oh well, let us put in the damage here. Yeah, get a shot in. Oh my god. A 70% chance and you missed. You know what, I'm not gonna take the chance. We're gonna aim at him. 80% chance, come on guys. Two, he's panicked. That, Im that improved his chances, it didn't help us out any. I mean, at least we can save him, which we're gonna go for it. Next turn, we will save the bear unless we can kill him. I must say, I don't know how much range that is, so let's overwatch. This time he can actually overwatch here. And I think we end our turn. This guy's dead. Maybe, I don't know. Yeah, he should be dead. Okay, he didn't move at all, so let's use bandage on him. Wow, apparently we got loot too. Yeah, use it use that bandage. Okay, bear, you're just gonna kinda run away. These guys, he's got a 90% flank here, so make the shot count. Okay, he's panicked. We can see that he needs to move just a little bit. Oh, we actually got him in that one. Oh, I'm trying to get a... I'm trying to see if I can get this barrel. Hit the chance is 70. Oh my god, I should have just shot at the guy. Let us uh, end our turn. We're, we're slowly but surely killing this bear. He's rallied. He's... Pretty much in a better mood now. 55 chance now, just kill him. We have a better chance of killing the bear. I'll say we should have won after a long and hard battle. They've been wrecked. Got some medical supplies. Everyone's fine except for the dog that took the. You know, took a little bit of damage. I think we need to uh, get rid of the dog. I think the dog is the weak link. In our group it's unfortunate but it's true let's talk to the guy here the guy or gal okay. here's the suitcase thanks I'll let Emma know you did all right that's it well anyways I hope you all enjoyed remember to like comment subscribe and I will see y'all in the next one I'll say I think everything is fine here so let me just end the mission. See y'all in the next one.